Hello, thank you for being here. I really appreciate you tuning in and hearing what I have to say. Today, tonight, it's evening time here, I'm going to be sharing something. There was a question that somebody had about food, um, what I ate and, you know, food in general and what's good to eat and that kind of thing. So I thought I would bring that topic to light and just let you all know that food is a very interesting subject and it's something that we should learn about because there's a lot of food out there that isn't doing us very good. Um, we have uh, a lot of chemicals that are in food. A lot of the processed food has been bleached out of the nutrients. A lot of it is grown in, in um, dirt that's not healthy at all. It has no nutrients in it. It has chemicals in it instead. And so we are finding that it's harder and harder to find good things to eat. And I too have been wandering through this maze of all kinds of food on the grocery shelves, but not really knowing what to eat for a while there. And now I've come to realize that the more organic and the more close to nature that you eat, the better off you're going to start to feel. Uh, the chemicals that are in a lot of the processed foods act to keep us very toxic. They have a lot of other problems with them because it has uh, things in it that create organ breakdown and other things like that that we don't want to do. When we're younger, we can get away with that a little bit easier, but as we grow older, the toll is going to be coming up to be paid as you grow older for eating in that kind of a manner. The other thing is fast foods are not good places to eat. So what I do is, you know, I'm tempted by a lot of foods. I don't, I don't have any kind of temptation toward fast foods, and I don't have temptation toward most packaged foods. But there's other things that I do like to eat from time to time. And if I feel hungry for something that's more sugary, that's something I like to stay away from, but I don't deny myself of it. So I'll eat it and I'll enjoy it while I eat it. And little by little, it becomes something that I don't crave as much. And then after a while, I just don't like it. And now I'm at a point where I do crave more the foods that are more organic, more of the vegetables, more of the fruits. I don't eat a lot of bread, um, mainly because bread is, is the flour isn't real good. There's a lot of Roundup in flour unless you get the gluten-free. In fact, I think gluten is probably really Roundup. I think they've, they do all that kind of stuff. So anyway, that's, that's just what I wanted to talk about because food is actually a big indicator of our health and food should be used as our medicine. Medicine should be food that we eat. I've always had a difficult time with the way that people are always begging for health care here and health care there. And in my mind, it's like, that doesn't make sense to me because I think we should be screaming for clean food, clean air and clean water. Then we won't have a need for health care in the way that we know health care. And also being on the topic of health care, there's something that's going to be coming down the tubes with Western medicine. Western medicine isn't going to be able to be sustained in the way that it's being practiced. Uh, Western medicine also has a lot of things that are supposed to get us well, but they turn out to be very addicting, a lot of the medications. And that's another topic that I will be bringing to light, although I have to be very careful how I word things in that category of discussion because there's algorithms out there that definitely will take me off of YouTube if, I, if I'm not careful with my words when it involves Western medicine and the Western model of medicine. So I'm going to just encourage all of you, just start to look at the foods, read the ingredients, and if you can't pronounce the words, you probably don't want to eat it. Try to move a little more organic and try to clean your vegetables better. Um, but just understand that it's a process. It's a very slow process and Don't deny yourself something, but just recognize what you're doing and pay a little more attention what you're eating a Lot of the changing the eating patterns is realizing the habits that we get into So you will have to be breaking the habits as well to to move out of that space 
So I don't know if that answered everything that she uh, asked me or he, I don't know. Um, I hope I touched on things and, and just you know, eat what your body wants, what your body is asking for, and be mindful and pay attention to the mind as far as how the mind is moving you into a different type of eating. And pay attention to that, listen to what your body says, and then ask your mind if that's really what you want. Take it there, take it to your heart, and just start to break those habits and pay attention to what you're doing and what you're consuming, and you'll find that you're going to start feeling a whole lot better. So with that, we had a little bit of time this evening, and I want to say thank you again, and I hope that I brought some information that you can use and begin to maybe work on with your own practice of turning more inward and becoming who you were supposed to be. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing. And I think there's a little bell up there that you can hit that you'll get a notification every time we post. So if you want to, you can hit that too. But thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it.